Uh, good morning everybody. Once again, my name is Terence Godip. I hope you subscribe to my previous video clip. If not, it's not it's still time. You can still redo that after you watch this one. On this channel, on this clip exactly, I'm gonna be telling you how to record using a Serato Pro. Okay, let me show you how to do that. I'm gonna turn the screen into Serato now. Okay, first thing you need to do when you want to record your set, you must make sure you have a nice song set up already. For example, I have a crate here. It's an old hip hop R&B crate. You can see it's highlighted in blue and, and white. If it's in white like this, it shows it hasn't been played. The track hasn't been played yet. If it's blue, it means the track has been played. And then on this one, I'm gonna start with the else. I'm gonna load the track on the attack A and then go to Shakira and then load on deck B okay and then after that you make sure your volumes and stuff your volume so it could be volume equalizers your speakers everything is connected correctly before you hit that you hit that record button okay and then you go up you go hit the record button now it was you need to hit it now if it's blue this means it's waiting for you to record you hit it now it's blue and then there is a record and then there is a little bit of space here where you can name your mix can you maybe say dj if you're a dj or if you're just a music lover you can just uh, say deep house deep house maybe deep house dj that's all deep house dj that's good work and then you're ready you have to wait for the song to play it doesn't play automatically like other software that i know i'll compare the softwares one day i'm gonna compare serato with your visual dj 2021 but for now let's just focus on recording with serato pro okay you're gonna make sure your track is loaded on both decks and then you're gonna go to deck one and then try i don't know if you can multitask you can try and press record and play on your controller at the same time let's see i did that okay i did that it's recording as you can see it's counting the time here and the track is moving on top simple once you're done recording you have to go to this icon save to save your set if you don't do that it might not save your set the way you you labeled it here so you go there quickly because you done your mix, you save. Simple. And then it's done. Okay, and after you've hit that save button, you quickly gonna go to your side of the folders. On top, next to Tidal, if you're using a Tidal or SoundCloud, you'll just be below the sub crates here and the recorded crate. And then you'll see highlighted in blue here then you know that's the latest one you can scroll below but i know how i know is the latest one because i know how i labeled it hence it's important to label your mix so that you can access it later oh again you can also check the length the length of your track or your mix will always be seen here then you know if you did a just quick mix it will, it will be seen here thank you very much uh, thank you very much uh i hope you enjoy that and you're gonna put that to a good use because you need to record those mixes so that you know how you're getting if you're getting bad or worse it's always important to record your mix people thank you very much for watching please kindly remember to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the link below there subscribe or like thank you very much i'll do the next videos next time thank you very much peace out